right. Do you, do you see what I'm saying though? This blue with this yeah, blue. Yeah, I get so it. It's opposite. Yeah, and it matches. <laughs> All right, slight departure from how my rocket videos usually go, but today is my day. Okay? Yeah, get it. We're doing my level three. Get Hopefully, it. I mean I'm trying. So here you go. Here's my four-inch Mad Dunisher. All right, here we go, dude. I know you. Good luck, Braden. No, no. Seven years of not being level three certified, but old enough to be. Almost. That's. Yeah, seven. Okay. That's my one semester of engineering school. Dude, if this H is still on here when it gets back, I'm going to be surprised. If the Ghost Rider sticker is still on it when it gets back, I'll be surprised. Look at that. No, it's going to ghost you, dude. All right, she's ready to go. L3 or bust, am I right? Oh, yeah. That way I can have the ability to not fly M, N, and O motors, too. A L3 attempt. Uh, Jason Griffin is the tap on that, so Jason, heads up, buddy? Y'all watch this. Uh, Brody Carlson from Boise, Idaho. Flying Smash Ghost Rider on the M497. And we're going to put you up in good luck in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. There we go. Alright, we found it. Landed in all this nonsense, but luckily the parachute's kind of sitting right on top. Sure enough, dude. You got it. Looks awfully certifiable. Um, from what I know about Taylor, this is just to get him warmed up. 
Um, <laughs> he's got a tracker on board, altimeter deployed with main at 700 feet. Let's put Taylor's rocket up in five, four, three, two, one. Good luck. Big rocket weighs 46 pounds. Gonna fly an Aerotech M6000 ST. He's got a tracker on board, GPS, altimeter deployed with main at 1,000 feet. Um, Oh, Altus Metrum and a Marsa 33 LHD. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's going to give us all $1,000 each when it lands. Dan's rocket's going to go off pad 67 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, see ya. Oh! Wow, that's really pretty. Somebody take that picture. That's not normally how we fly rockets, Dan, but that was pretty cool. Swindler from Glendale Heights, Illinois is going to fly a DX3XL. I'm sure that means something, but I don't know what. Glendale Heights, Illinois flying DX3XL, 28 and a half pound rocket on an M2200 albino assault uh, propellant. Going up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go Chuck. There she goes. Pad 81 is called Quark, Strangeness and Charm. This is a little bitty rocket, folks. It weighs 75 pounds. It's going to fly on an O3200. It's an oh crap. Uh, John's rockets are really good, and they always fly well. And the total impulse is a bunch. Its burn time is about three and a half seconds. And the propellant type is Mr. Clean. And it's got a um, missile works and adept electronics on board. And this should be a good flight. So I'm looking for a low-flying aircraft that we can aim at. I don't see any. So I guess, John, we're just going to have to fly your rocket. Pad 81, John Clifton, good luck, brother. On an O3200, O3200, second all choked up. In five, four, three, two, one, good luck. Oh. Oh, cool. Do it again, man. That was cool. A rocket called Workhorse. It's a scratch built. Um, Eight-pound rocket, gonna fly a CTI L935. Altimeter deployed with main at a thousand feet. He's got GPS on board. Let's put Chris's rocket up. Off of pad, what did I say, 51? In five, four, three, two, one, good luck. Rocket, the flyer wants me to call heads up, but I'm not inclined to, so I'm gonna let you stay in your chair, but watch this rocket's on pad 52. Andrew Novikowski from Burke, Virginia, the Black Fly in five, four, three, two, one, good luck. Okay, I just got to confirm that the 60s are ready to launch. Preston Noble, flying his Loki M900 Red, 22 pound rocket, on pad number 61. And Preston, we're going to put you up in five, four, three, two, one, ignition. There you go, Preston. It's lit. That was certainly not an M900. Right, four, three, two, one, get it. Fired up. Goes up in five, four, three, two, one, launch. That gas dryer really added to the flight. Perfect. Yeah, that was super good actually. <laughs> I was thinking it's gonna be short, but then it's like, nah. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna come straight down. Yep. It weighs 14 pounds. It's gonna go from a CTI K780 to a CTI K310. It is an air start. Uh, altimeter with main at 800 feet. Chuck's rocket should be ready to go. It's not really an air start, it's just a two stage. Eh, it's good to go. In five, four, three, two, one, launch. There we go, nice job. Hey, let's fly some more rockets. On pad 40, 
31, <clears throat> Braden Carlson from Boise, Idaho is going to fly the King Kraken. It's a, I can't read it, Pemtech. Pemtech? Pemtech kid, don't know it. Flying on an I-357. Should be a good flight. Let's put it up. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Uh, going up in five, four, three, two, one, launch. It's going to fly on a K680 Redline motor. And that's what you need to know. Let's put his rocket up in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Fire. So we're going to take Bill up off pad 65 in five.
flights of stage rockets. Well, this is his craziest robot he's built yet. This is a four-stage rocket out there. Stage one has a K-2050 Super Thunder. Stage two has a J-825 Redline. Stage three has a J-350 White Lightning. And stage four has a J-575 Fast Jack. He's getting all the air propellant for one flight here. This is a incredibly complex rocket. Stage one's going to pop its main at Apogee. Two and three are both dual deploy with the main coming out at 1,000 feet. And four is dual deploy with the main at 1,200 feet. There's GPS on all stages, and Fred's expecting 15,000 feet out of this four-stage rocket. So this is uh, this is a heads-up flight, folks. If you're sitting down, I need you to stand up. If you're under your canopy, I need you to come out. This will be incredible. Okay, stand up. This is a heads-up flight. I want to see all eyes looking forward on the range. For Fred Taverni's rocket, American Karma. Can I see? All right. We got everyone with eyes on the range. The sky is clear, the range is clear. Good luck, Fred. This is gonna be incredible. Four stages coming off a of buster out there in the back. In 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three. Four grand prize. Yeah. <laughs> 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 range look good. We're gonna launch John's rocket in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, Got smoke. There it is. Yeah, I think SpaceX does it with the Falcon 9, right? To slow it down when it's coming back in.